Good morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are, and welcome back to another Halloween special fan film reaction. Today, we are joined again by our Council of Reactors. Zamo, how you doing? I'm fantastic. I'm really excited. And Fecto, welcome back. Greetings. Good to be here. And Viz, how you doing? I'm good. Happy to be here. Good. Uh, so this week we have another fan film from the, actually the same creator we've done before. This is Knock Knock, a short horror fan film from a ACM official. Again, they have 639,000 subscribers. Three point, this video has 3.1 million views in two years. So it's about a four and a half minute fan film. You guys ready to go? Rock and roll. All right. Oh, uh, New Year's Eve. Happy New, Happy New Year. Uh oh. Oh, no, it's Y2K. <laughs> yeah. 25 years late. <laughs> Who's there? First off, you know she wouldn't be by herself on New Year's Eve. You know that's true. Ooh. Hey, can you keep it down, please? I'm sure they heard that. Okay. You don't do that on the first talk. I mean, you leave, love. What do you expect? <laughs> Hi, this is Kim Smith in room 325. The room next door to me keeps banging on the wall. Is there something you could do about that? Dude, they did it twice. Come on. You're sure? Do you think you checked the right room? Yes, you're the only one on the third floor. It would have been better if it was the 13th floor. Okay, there's somebody definitely next door. Can you send someone to check, please? Sure thing. I'll send someone now. Well, reception is sounds creepy. <laughs> You're telling people Hello? to keep it down, though, on New Year's Eve. That's a stupid thing. Is anyone in here? Okay, they have door stoppers that keep the door open. <laughs> Black it's a leprechaun. The dog. Darkest toilet of all time. I know, God. There's no one in here. I'll let her know. Ah! Oh, sorry. This guy sounds as disinterested as I'd expect him to be. Come on in. <laughs> Hello. I'd be like, I'm checking out. Yeah. Power like, outage in one room. Interesting. 
yeah, I'm sorry. I'd just be like, okay, there, there's stuff going on. I swear to God, I'm still hearing stuff. I'm in the Can room next door. Can you please stop banging on the walls? Can I move? Unless it's room 1408. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the ring from under the bed. Yeah, the grudge. <laughs> Okay. At all the loyals don't. Amelia Sykes' soft on crime record is dangerous. Sykes sponsored a bill to release violent all offenders. Alrighty. From so that is knock, knock. And none of us said, who's there? Uh, start with this time with uh, Fecto. Fecto, what did you think of this fan film? Well, it left me wanting more. It's, I feel like it just kind of threw a bunch of scenes together to create what it was. Uh, you know what I mean? It just kind of tossed a bunch of random things together that just kind of worked. It gave you like kind of what was going on, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like it could have used a little bit more context. Um, you know, you get the, the magical power outage, the suspense building and everything was good for the scenes. Um, the maid disappearing, like, was there any trace of the maid? Was that the maid that got possessed that went in there that came after her? I, I think I mean, it was the maid that was that yeah. like, came after him. Yeah, no, after I, yeah, just some little things like that. Uh, the lady going in to self-investigate kind of expected that to happen. Um, and then other than just like some editing things like color correction being a little better in some spots, it was decent. It was okay. All right. Zemo, what'd you think? Um, it was a bit simple, wasn't it? Uh, uh, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong for being simple uh, regarding a fan film, but th there's no there's no real payoffs or anything. I think they could have stretched this out a little bit longer just to give us a more understanding of what's going on. But at the same time, the simplicity of it may can, could be quite appealing to some people. There's just some knocks going on next door, and whoever goes to investigate ends up becoming the killer of the next person who investigates. Um, that's what I, that's what I could pick up from it. It's all right, but because it was so short, it was already over before it, it started. Um, and you weren't going to get much re revelation from it. So uh, I'll just, yeah, it's it's just all right. But it you know, acted well. And whatever was done was done well, but I, I, feel, I don't feel fulfilled by watching it. That's the only way I can explain myself. All right. Uh, Vizaxon, what do you think? I'm going to be mean because I used to work at a hotel. I worked at one for 17 years and I can, I can sit there and go, it's just like, yeah, you know, I know it's a horror movie and they, they don't quite operate within the confines of reality, but I can tell you right now, guests do not stay in rooms if they feel like they will, they will ask to be moved. I call absolute bullshit that she was in New York and they said that she was the only one on that floor. There's no fucking way in New York on, on New Year's Eve that she's the only one on a hotel floor. What sort of shitty ass hotel is she in if she managed to put her on? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna rip this one apart. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like, two late at night, hotels tend to have security guards. Their policy, if there is knocking, if being reported in a room where knocking should not be, they will send a security guard, not some poor housekeeper. Like. Oh my, it, ugh, there was so much. <laughs> they have door stoppers where if someone does enter a room, they are required to stop the door open if they think that someone's going to be in there so it doesn't get shut behind them. Jesus, everything about this one irritated me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, I agree with you guys. I think it was very simple. There was no payoff. Um, I'm not going to be as generous with this one. Um, I thought that we, I mean, it's something as simple as after the, 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 the possessed employee came up and like, you know, attacked her. If we had another scene just after that showing like her the next morning, checking out and them saying, you know, like, oh, how, how was your stay? Hopefully the knocking stopped. And then she just went, you know, she just had some like really creepy 
thing to say before she walked out like she was possessed and she was leaving the hotel you know something different you know what i mean like th there would be some kind of payoff like oh this this whatever this bean is is now out you know it's not stuck in the even though i know the employee was would make it not so she's not stuck either but I, that's not i'm not the writer so um yeah I, yeah so I, i'm i'm probably gonna give this one a five as i said it was okay pretty well acted but uh, yeah, there there was not enough here. There's no payoff, and yeah, Vizak Vizaxon's right. Like there's there's a bunch of like <laughs> things that just makes no sense. I mean, a, at least the one where we were watching the the security guard locking up the restrooms. At least you know he was a security guard locking up the restrooms, and it wasn't like just some park ranger. Well, I guess park ranger could be security, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a five. Viz, four, four. Okay, uh, fac facto. Yeah, I'm going to give it a four, too, because like what you were just saying, like they should have showed it to where she was checking out and then maybe did like a close up of her face and like change eye color or something. And then boom, black screen. That alone would have like made the ending a lot better. But yeah, yeah, four. Uh, Zamo. I know where this is coming from, by the way. Like I watched uh, one of those Fast and the Furious movies and they were doing street racing around London. I'm thinking to myself, no chance. There'll be fucking traffic jams. In all those locations you were showing in this fucking movie. So I call bullshit. And I know where you're coming from, Viz. I agree. But as I'm not in your experiences regarding hotels, I saw things a little bit differently. However, I'm only going to give it a five. All right. Well, everybody out there in YouTube land, what did you think of this fan film? Were we too harsh on it? Did you love it? If you did, please, we put the link down below for the official release. Uh, please go and support them. They've obviously done numerous fan films because this is a fan film that we've all we from these people we reviewed uh, in the past. So, uh, but if you if you really loved it, go support them. We want we whether we like it or not, we want fan films to be supported. You know, different strokes, different folks. We're not, you know. So anyway, Zam, Fecto, Viz, thank you so much for joining us here today for this more. This, our Trek Down spooky fan films. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. We are NerdTube, the greatest YouTube channel you kind of maybe sort of heard of. Bye-bye.